Hey everyone, so today we have here, this is a HP Envy uh, X360. Uh, there's a lot of ones that are pretty similar to this one. This is the M6. I don't know if that really makes a difference because they all kind of look the same to me. This is the one with the uh, AQ105DX. That makes a difference anyway, but it's a, just an, an issue that uh, we did notice with this one. It's in here for repair, and when you plug it in, you do see an AC light go there, and then when you hit the power button, you will see a, a brief flash, and then what it'll do is it'll just die uh, completely. There's no display. There's nothing else going with it, so it doesn't look like some type of power problem. We'll just go ahead, open up, and take a look at it and see if there's anything that we do notice. Let's just take it up. I think it's already... We already did some of the screws, but... Uh, and once you, <laughs> once you close this up, the thing likes to click a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to take it up, and we're going to do a quick scan of the board here itself. Um, see if there's any issues with it or anything like that. Just do a quick scan and see. Sometimes when you see something like that, it means something's probably shorting it somewhere, and we want to see what that possibly is. So uh, we want to reconfirm it, so we plug it in. We do get the AC light, which is a good sign. That means at least uh, the DC jack's fine, charger's fine, and at least it's receiving something. It's understanding that there is um, power going to the board itself. Um, so from there, uh, sometimes this does die. I do know this flashes for a second, and sometimes it'll, I guess, stay on. Other times it won't. Then it'll be no display or anything like that. Okay, so the light comes on. It spins. The light flashes, and... That's really about it from there. It does a, so there's a brief flash for a second, then it dies. And we, we want to see if there's any type of damage here that we can see. And let's just go ahead and um, kind of go from there. Make sure at least the battery's unplugged, which is fine. And we want to see what's shorting it. Um, since the fan did spin, I have a little bit more confidence. Uh, sometimes it can be the startup chip, especially if it spins and then dies. Other times it does stay on. Uh, if it stays on a little bit more, then um, obviously that's probably not the case either. But we want to see what this is. So then let's always check the more basic things. Just do a quick scan on it, and we'll see. So let's just do a quick top scan on it, because there's no point of removing anything yet until we can do a scan, because we want to see exactly where they, what the issue is. So uh, let's just at least take a look under the microscope and see. Okay, we're going to check these look pretty good on this side here. Okay, I don't see anything too crazy. Looks clean. Let's go pop the other one. Let's see if there's anything. Sometimes it can be there. Oh. <gasps> Oh, uh ha. -huh. I think we found something here. Okay, so let's take a look at what it is. Especially it'll look better under here. Uh ha. -huh. So I did. S I do see the culprit. You can see there's a little bit of the... It's a little bit wet there. I wasn't aware that this was would have been liquid spill. I think this is your problem right here. So, aha. Uh -huh. So under the microscope we can see That that is a problem, and if we take a look at the actual RAM stick, I don't really see any damage to the RAM stick itself. Looks pretty clean, but let's just double check because if it's there, it would be here too, right? It's pretty clean. It's even the back too. Pretty clean. How about the components? It looks very clean. It looks very clean. So this is our problem, and this is most likely going to be our our culprit. And you can clearly see that the just even <laughs> by the blurry image on right there. This is what it looks like underneath the microscope. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can see if there's a little way we can clean it. What we can do is we can spray a little bit of alcohol on it. There we go, there we go. Okay, so we wanna loosen that up. We spray some there. And you can see it still looks kinda nasty. Let's see if we can kinda scrape it here.
just this one little piece here. Okay, that looks pretty good now. Um, we can see. We'll see if it works. So we have both sticks in. Let's just turn it on. I'm sure, it looks fine. We just we need an HP logo. That's all we care about. As so we can get to there. Okay. So there it goes, it does turn on, and it looks like the repair did go very well. All right guys, so hope you guys enjoyed watching this repair on the HP uh, Spectre X360 and the M6 version, or I'm sure that's just whatever it's called, but uh, they're all pretty similar. Uh, there's a lot of them that do look like this. It's still a very popular laptop we get in uh, from time to time. Like going to sign a MacBook or anything like that, so if you guys missed out on that, you can go check out our other videos. We do lots of MacBooks. Um, repairs and we do lots of uh, liquid spills and data recoveries on those as well uh, this one was a more of a straightforward fix it's very interesting because there was no liquid damage or anything on top of the actual metal shield case either um, and we didn't really see anything there so it's, it's very strange on how that would get actually underneath without any type of evidence even on either side of the shield which is very interesting so it was a quick easy fix it just made the pin that was damaged there um, for these separate repairs too uh, another way to actually do it is just use one of the rams uh, slots if you just want to totally avoid this or if you have any troubles with it or if the, if the damage is a little bit too much you can always do that that's an extra type of repair but uh, it's good to see, especially if you have no display and you're getting a warm processor or if you're getting some t sometimes a power cycle that can do that, especially if the processor is getting warm, you, that usually means it's, it's at least turning on and it's trying to power on, but it's not showing display. Sometimes it can be the LCD cable, but in this case, it was a pretty straightforward, easy repair. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and uh, found this very informative. Please leave a like if you really did. It really does help us a lot. Um, we try to do a lot more MacBooks repairs and we also do liquid spills, so data recoveries on those things. Go ahead and stay tuned for that. We've been doing a lot more of the M1 recently. If you're interested in that, go ahead, um, subscribe, and you'll see a lot more of those coming your way. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching.